doing something with this chorizo. Not too sure what, but I'll make something delicious, fabulous. Okay, so I was mentioning on my last video that I was going to make a pantry cleanout, fridge cleanout kind of thing. So what I'm going to do right now is use up this cabbage I had in the fridge. I'm going to use these tomatoes, canned tomatoes. And let's see what else we could add to this dish here. Oh, sandwich. No, I'll keep the sandwich for another day. So many things I could use. Uh oh. Got polenta. We got quinoa. Oatmeal. Mexican spice. Okay, so. Nothing really here we could use to go with this. So I'm just going to cut up the cabbage for now and use the tomatoes, and we'll go from there. Hara! I had some peppers in the fridge. Cut this up uh, last time I went grocery shopping, so that was last Saturday, and it's now Friday. So it's been sitting there for a week, so I think I'm just going to cut those up and add that to the dish. So I think what I'm going to do is put everything in a pot. So I'm going to put the cabbage in the pot. That. Now, I'm just doing this as I go, right? So I'm not sure what exactly I'm making yet. I know I'm going to put this in a pot because I need the room to do it. And I'm going to cut up all these peppers, but I'm going to keep a couple peppers for tomorrow morning's breakfast. And I want to use this up soon as possible. They're still pretty fresh. Yeah, they're really good. So I've had this for a week. Yeah, I've had this for a week in the fridge. Cut them all up and everything else and they're still really fresh. So I'm going to keep this much for breakfast. For my breakfast. So I want these in big enough chunks. I don't want them too small. So I want them fairly big. Big enough. There we go. Put that in there. Okay. Now I'm just going to add the tomato, Italian season stewed tomatoes. Break them up a little bit. Ooh. Gotta be careful because they squirt. Now I got a case of this from the food truck. And this is the first one from the case. Woo! So, but this is canned goods. They tend to last quite a long time. But I'm going to start using them up. Now that that's done, I'm just going to see what else I could use in my dish here. I don't think there's much here in these pantry items I could use. I could use General Tahoe, but no. Sweet and sour, no. Uh, there's hot peppers, but I don't want hot peppers in there. Mexican spice. That's that came with a rice rice in a can. I didn't use it, so but you know what? I could use this chicken stock. So I'm gonna use this chicken stock from my uh, Mr. Noodles. So I'm gonna put that in there. Okay, it's starting to look a little messy. That side. I'm just going to put that 
Oh, I think it's vegetable stock. Oh, it's vegetable. It's a mystery packet. So it's ve vegetable stock. Now I'm going to mix it up. Magic spoon. Magic spoon. Need more liquid. Because you need more liquid. Let's see what I can make for liquid. It needs a can of soup. So I think I'm just going to add a can of soup. Let's see what we got. I'm going to add a can of chicken noodle soup. There we go. And I'm going to add a can of distilled water. We just need a little liquid because we need to cook up that cabbage, right? This is something a little different. Maybe I'll call it chorizo stew. Chorizo stew. We're going to put that on the stove now. So it's going to be able to cook up that cabbage. 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 We're going to put that on the stove and we're going to cook up the cabbage. There we go. I need an accent sometimes. So now that that's done, I'm going to do the chorizo, chorizo, chorizo. We're just going to cut it up. It's just about done. Like I'd say it's pretty much done. It's just, yeah, it's done. Okay. So we're going to cut it up into little pieces and we're going to add that near the end of my Near the end of the cooking stage is for my. We're gonna add that after to the um, pot. We're gonna add that after to the pot. Soup. Find the mess. Oh my gosh. I hate messy counters. There we go. There we go. All right. So now we're just going to cut these up. Mm. I want to try one. I'm going to try it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's mmm. Oh, that's good. It's got a little bit of heat. Not enough to burn. Not enough to say, whoo! Nothing like that. It's just nice. This up really nicely and put it in the pot. Put it in the pot. The big pot. I was gonna say, put it in the pot. The motherfucking pot. Yeah, this is going to be good. These are good sausages. Jay, you want to try a bite of the sausage? This chorizo sausage? Can we get one? Come here, darling. Darling. Hurry up. It's not hot. Not hot, hot. I'm not going to burn your mouth or anything. How is it? It's good, eh? I like those chorizo sausages. Mm. I'd buy them again. Mm. I got them at the discount store. I think I paid a buck fifty for it. So, yeah, it has a little bite, but it's not like, <gasps> you know, it's not something that's gonna make your sphincter burn after. Okay, that's going in the pot. <laughs> We're gonna put that in the pot. We're gonna put that in the pot. 
gonna put that in the pot. Look at the sauces on this stuff. Nice juicy spot. Whew. There's cayenne and paprika in here, I guarantee it. Yeah, because you can see it in the in the juices, eh? It's really it's probably cayenne. Alright. Just gonna mix that up. Just like that. Now what would be good with that would be a little bit of onion powder. Because you know you know I love onion powder, right? Onion powder. A little bit of basil. So a little bit of basil, a little bit of onion powder. Now the stock or the vegetable broth and chicken noodle soup have its own salt, so we won't, won't put salt in there. But I will put some pepper. Not too much because there's pepper in the chorizo. I'll just mix that up. It's missing something. It's missing something, guys. What is it? Let me just check. Check in the fridge! It's a little strange, but I'm going to put some teriyaki in there. Just a little bit. Yeah, a little bit of teriyaki. Just like that. And now we're just going to put the lid on it. And put it on number five. And wait for a bit. So while we wait for that, I'm going to tell you what we're doing this weekend. Uh, we're going to be doing the floors. We're going to do this hallway. We're going to install the rest of the flooring. We put these floorings in. We put this flooring in when we uh, moved in here. So we're going to finish it up in this hallway. Check out this carpet though, eh? 1960s carpet. Bow, chicka, bow, bow. I actually like it. It's green. I like the green. But it has to be updated. So that's what we're doing this weekend. We are finishing off the hallway. Still have to work on this. We bought this stuff. And we thought we had enough packages, but we didn't. So... I bought the stick, stick on, uh, here, I'll show you the stick on ones. And yeah, it's good for now. It was old wallpaper and I was peeling and stuff before. So it's just to cover it up, but we're going to find something similar to this and finish it off on the walls there. I didn't do too much of a good job with that. As you can see, you can see the seams and everything else. But it covered up the wallpaper. Okay, so while I was doing the dishes, I thought I'd leave it with the lid on for about 10 minutes on low. And this is what I got so far. Mmm, smells good. Oh, that's going to be really good, guys. Now I'm thinking I'm going to add some chives to that. I have some dehydrated chives and I'm going to add it to the pot. Well, they're not coming out as much, but... I also have some dehydrated leeks. I'm going to add that to the pot as well. I'm just going to add about a, uh, about a handful. A bit of a handful there. Magic spoon. Magic spoon. Magic spoon. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. 
It's going to be delicious. It's going to be great. It's going to be fabulous. So I'm going to put the lid on for another five to seven minutes. And then we're going to check on the texture of the cabbage. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. It smells really good in my house. Ooh, lots of steam. So I'm going to check it and see if it's ready. Yep, it's ready. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm going to turn that off and let it sit for five minutes with the little. For Jay's lunch, I added some instant rice to the stew. That way he'll have rice in it. I don't want rice in mine, so I'm not putting it in the pot. I just put it in his heated thermos or his heated lunchbox. Taste test time. All right. Put some cabbage on there. So I guess this is my cabbage stew. No, my chorizo stew. Mm. Mm. It's different. Mm. Oh, I love that sausage. Chorizo sausage. Mm. I had chorizo before. They were really, really small pieces and they were toppings for pizza. That was good. But I never had the sausage until now. And it's like, whoo, whoo. It's a creeping right now. A little bit of spice. Oh, that milk mess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is enjoyable. Now I'm going to get some of that sausage, some of that pepper, red pepper. And the cabbage. Let's get it all there. That big mouth of mine. Mmm. 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 Mm. This is a great meal for a nice cold day like today. Today it's minus eight. I'm not used to that yet. It's November. So I'm not used to the cold yet. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. so another great meal nice and frugal nice and tasty nice and easy mm. and delicious fabulous so thanks for joining me be sure to uh, click on that bell at the bottom so you don't miss my next video and be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. Bye for now.